Now this is definitely the sandwich Junior should have had. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Cooking with Kino, the number one cooking channel on YouTube done by a non-cooking YouTuber. I'm pretty sure I can say that confidently. Um, but today I thought we'd make uh, a very special dish, a dish that I really love, peppers and egg sandwich. Um, it's surprisingly delicious for how simple it is, even though really all it is is scrambled eggs and bell peppers on a sandwich. Now, there are a lot of different ways you can make this dish. Uh, everyone has their own recipe. Chicago has its own style. New York has its own style. Um, but this is the way I'm choosing to make it. And you can, of course, play with it any way you want to. But I figured, hey, this would be a fun kind of Sopranos related dish. Uh, pretty simple to make. Now let's go ahead and get cooking. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is chop up an onion. I cut down the middle lengthwise, then peel away the outer layers. From there, I cut the onions into semi-thick wedges, and then I'll chop those in half again. That will give me small enough pieces that will go softer in cooking without disappearing completely. Alright, next step is to dice the bell peppers. Now, you can do this with whatever kind of pepper you want. Some people like green peppers for this. I've got some red, orange, and yellow ones because they look pretty. There are many ways to cut these. I like to just cut off the top and pull the seeds out by hand. Then you can cut them in half and rip out any remaining pith by hand. Then I like to cut them into long thin slices, then cut those ones in half again. I want pieces that are not too big, so that they'll be easy to bite into inside the sandwich. Once that's done, put some oil in a pan over medium low heat. The onions need a head start, so I put them in first to cook down for a few minutes. While that's going on, we can prep our bread. Normally, peppers and egg sandwiches are served in hoagie rolls or small French bread rolls. I've got a giant baguette here from the bakery, honestly just because I thought it would look cool for the thumbnail. Either way, if you want the eggs and peppers to fit better into the sandwich, you can rip most of the bread out to create space. Once you're done, set that aside for later. Once the onions have softened up, you can throw in your bell peppers. I also add salt and pepper at this stage, but be conservative as we'll taste for seasoning later. I'll also chop up some garlic to throw in later. I let these peppers cook down for almost 20 minutes on medium heat. I like them soft so that I can bite through them as I eat, but you can of course cook yours to taste. Once they're almost done, I'll add a splash of vinegar, as the acidity contrasts well with the richness of the eggs. I'll also throw the garlic in at the last minute, as it might have burned if we threw it in earlier. Once those are all cooked, set aside. Now it's time for the eggs. A lot of people make them in the same pan as the peppers, but I actually prefer to use a separate pot. I'm going to be cooking these eggs Gordon Ramsay style. In a cold pot, I'm cracking in 9 eggs, again because I'm making a giant sandwich. I'll also add a big knob of butter for this many eggs but no salt or pepper at this stage. Turn on medium heat and stir the eggs constantly. You will never stop stirring these eggs until they're done. Again, this is a lot more work than normal scrambled eggs, but I really prefer it. The constant agitation and the butter make for really creamy custardy eggs. At first it will seem like nothing is happening, but once the eggs heat up, you'll see them start to thicken. Be sure to scrape the sides of the pot and break up any large chunks of eggs that are starting to form. This is why a rubber spatula is the best tool for this. Now the only tricky thing about this is you need to pull the eggs from the heat while they're still a little runny. The residual heat of the pot will continue to cook them and I like them to be just barely dry. I actually overcooked these because I was fiddling with the camera trying to get all the angles, but they still turned out delicious. Once those are done, the last thing to do is toast up our bread. I'm putting mine in the oven under the broiler, and yes, I know I need to clean my oven. I don't like my bread to be too brittle, so I'm just cooking these for a few minutes. I'm also not spreading any butter on the bread, as the eggs and peppers already have a ton of fat coating them. Once that's done, it's time to assemble. I also like the eggs and the peppers to be in two separate layers instead of mixed together which is another reason why I cook them separately.
Once that's done, the last thing to do is grate on some Parmesan on top. And that's how you make a peppers and egg sandwich. Again, I know that was a very simple recipe, and of course you can change anything about this you want. You can use any kind of bell peppers, use mozzarella, use whatever you want. It's a very simple sandwich. Um, but I hope I've been giving you some ideas of how you can do it. Um, and stay tuned for more Sopranos related cooking videos coming soon. Peppers and egg sandwich. Fuck you. Obscracing Media, Daz J Kid, Sam Cedarland, Celery Man, Jenna Marie Johnson, Brad Smith Studios, Uncle Mike, Shane Boyce, Matt Joyce, and Countess Von Zarevich.